Now I'm just above idle. Look at that. Look, 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 look. And you can fly in a small space like that. Look, I'm going to turn really tight. This is full flaps. It's almost flying like a park flyer at this point. No real hint of a stall. Look at that. Now that's my timer. And welcome to Motion RC. Stuart here at Motion RC Europe for the flight review on a model that you would have seen tease now, you would have seen the announcement, and this is the official flight review for the new free wing 80 millimeter. Here it is, L39. Now this is the Aero L39, and um, what this essentially is is an Avanti in a scale uh, skin. Uh, it flies just as well as the Avanti, if not better, but it has a really, really nice scout appearance. Now, that's not to say that it won't appeal to the non-scout guys. Um, it is a, a very detailed model, but at the same time, uh, in, but in civilian hands, the full side had many, many sports schemes. So if you're, if you're looking for your next step up from the Avanti in terms of appearance, definitely consider the L39. Or if you are a real scout guy like me and love the L39 as, as I do and as Alpha does, that's, that's why we chose to do this model, then it's, uh, it's gonna make a great addition for your next free wing purchase. Now what we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna uh, go out and do the flight review in just a minute. Before that, I'm gonna talk you around a few of the details uh, of the model. I will explain that we're back down at uh, Hofdorp Model Flying Club. We've got Tom behind the camera, uh, who you guys would have seen behind the camera with the Spitfire and the ME262 that we filmed here recently. My infamous splashdown in the canal there uh, is gonna live on forever on social media. Um, but uh, we're gonna shoot this here today. Uh, Amsterdam Schiphol Airport is quite close by, so you may hear some planes going over, but we'll do our best to edit around that. We'll put an onboard camera on as well, and uh, then we'll, uh, we'll be uh, good to go with the, uh, the actual flight review. But until then, let's come a little closer and I'll give you more of an overview of the model itself. Now, as I said, it's pretty much a scale version of the Avanti. That's absolutely what we're pitching it as. It flies uh, as well and is as stable and has as uh, good a speed range as the Avanti also. Now for the detail itself, we've got uh, inside the cockpit here, you've got the uh, plastic inlaid for the cockpit so it won't deform so much in the sun. 3D printed parts will be available for this cockpit and for other parts as well, so look out for those. Uh, the span, according to the instruction manual that I have, right here. This is just over a meter span at uh, 1,053 millimeters. Uh, it has the uh, same setup as the Avanti. It's got that 12 blade uh, outrunner uh, setup on this and this is running on, if I open the canopy here, on the one that we all like to uh, use. This is the Admiral 5006S and you'll note the position here for the CAG. Also of interest in here, we have the new control board. You'll see some close-ups of this. Now this is a, a new control board for me. It makes things very, very simple. Essentially we have these 6S band lead that come in from the wing and directly into the fuselage. So it's a much cleaner install. Now you would have seen this in the assembly video if you've watched that already, but if not, if you're new to it, then this is a very, very cool device and makes things very neat and tidy. And as you can see as well, um, Tom, you can come up just a little more and just be a little wide. You can see that it's actually very, very spacious. This is a 5,000, but in all honesty, it will probably fit a 6,000 in there with ease. Um, now, and the detail on this model, that's what I really want to talk about. Uh, with every freewheel model, it just gets better and better, and the L39 is no exception. Um, there's another plane going over there, so I'm gonna have to talk up. Not only has it got all the fine panel line details and the rivets and whatnot molded in, but if I turn it over, you will see, let's have a look here. Here, first of all, it has uh, all uh, metal uh, Oleo uh, uh, undercarriage. This is a scissor type um, Oleo, much like the full size, and then a traditional Oleo on the nose. The nose has full plastic cover now, uh, as uh, something that you would uh, come to uh, love and appreciate on 
new uh, 80 mil EDFs going forward, but actually in the handling on the field, it doesn't affect it at all. In fact, it's very much benign. We've got quite thick grass here today, uh, quite lush because we've had a lot of rain recently. Um, but this model is very much set up for a setup uh, such like this uh, on grass. So if you're looking for grass operation with this EDF, this is exactly uh, the type of model you want for handling such a situation. Basically what I'm saying is it's very, very good on grass. So what I'm gonna do is quickly do the gears here. They've got a nice delay mechanism on, uh, mechanism on them. Here they go. Gear door uh, on the front folds up very, very nicely and automatically. And we'll bring them back down again. A little bit of a delay there on purpose. Beautiful stuff. Also, whilst I've got you on the underside, this gun pod is uh, basically removable. Uh, this is done in a uh, Slovenian aerobatic scheme. Uh, very, very nice uh, standout scheme. It really uh, pops in the sky, which is exactly what we want. However, if you are wanting to fly the, um, the aerobatic scheme like this, in real life, it didn't really have the gun pod, as I recall. So that is completely removable. So that's your choice whether you want to uh, keep that on board or not when you fly. And that just has a key style system uh, which uh, holds it in place there. Also, drop tanks. You see the drop tanks here. Now the pylons are glued in. That's one of the few things you need to glue other than the rear fuselage. Uh, but the drop tanks themselves are magnetically held. And what I'll do today in the flight review, I'll fly in both with and without so you can see uh, if there's any difference. I don't expect there will be, uh, but they do look very, very cool as well. Uh, big, big 747 going over there. Uh, but all in all, it's a very nice package. I'm very excited to fly it. Uh, this is something that uh, we've been working on, and I say we, I mean uh, Freewing with Alpha uh, developing the model, and actually myself, because when I first joined the company, uh, Alpha and I had a discussion about what jets we would like to work on next. This is a suggestion that came up, and he, uh, he rolled with it, and I've been very, very impressed with the results uh, in the model itself. Now we're going to fly it, and uh, I'll show you guys just how impressive it is. So without further ado, uh, let's get on and fly this beautiful model. Okay, so, oh, I am unfit. I'm ready to go. Very nice feature. You may be able to just make it out now on the L39. Uh, we've got the uh, LED landing lights, and whenever that gear's down, you get those LEDs on the tips. If you can't see it in the moment, we'll definitely show you some footage of that later. Oh, now I've got my breath back. Now I'm gonna fly it now with the uh, drop tanks on under the wing and then I'll land uh, halfway through the flight, take them off. And this first flight is really just about showing you flying as a scow jet. Uh, and then after that, we'll land, we'll put another pack in and we'll explore it a little more just so you can see how diverse the L39 from Free Wing and Motion RC is. So without further ado, we've got an onboard camera, we've got this camera and we've got an action cam down there. So let's take this bad boy up into the air. All right, Tom, you ready? I'm ready. All right. Now with this, I'm on all low rates. My setting is pretty much the same as the 262. It's pointed into wind and we are good to go. Just let it be, build up speed naturally. It's a trike that beha behaves very well on the ground. Grass is a little long and then it will just pop off like so. Gear goes up. And there, of course, there is a little more drag with the tanks. And of course, I've got the camera on there as well. But let's just bring it around. I'm at half throttle now. And it's really groovy. That's uh, really, really nice. I'm going to bring it around into wind. Apologies for the position of the sun here. I'm not sure how much you guys can see on the main camera. I'm going to do a pass, full power pass. How are we doing? There we go. This is full power. Oh, she looks good with those tanks. Now those tanks are just magnetically held, so when I come around and land in a minute, we'll take them off. Roll out of that one. This is again half. Lovely. Tom, how's that looking on the camera? Yeah, one? it's looking good. I'm going to bring it back around then this way. Keep pulling, keep pulling. Do a nice pass. Bit of oxygen rudder. Oh, look at it. It flies so well. It is so smooth. Look at that climb. Keep going, keep going. Gonna roll out of the top and pull around. Ease off the power. Come down for a full power. Downwind pass. There you go. Oh, and that sound. That's that 12 blade 6S uh, sound. Can't get enough of that. So I'll do one more. Um, I guess show pass, I guess we could call it. I'm going to bank the wing over, give it some opposite rudder, full power, opposite rudder. Look at that. Oh, almost knife edging. All right, I'll 
come round, I'll do a half uh, roll, loop it out, out of the exit. Now it's just power off on this pass, power off. Lovely. All right, I'll bring it round to land now, just because I want to take those tanks off. Gear comes down. Remember, there's a little bit of a delay with the gear, so you've got to uh, be mindful of that. And the flaps are so good. I'm on full flaps right now, and it behaves so, so well. I've got a little bit of height that I need to bleed off with the rudder. I'll give it a little bit of power at the end there, and I'm going to flare it. Lovely jubbly. All right. So now we'll bring it in. Really bring it in. This is not scale speed on the taxi for sure. All right, let's just quickly remove these. As I said, these just pop off. They're magnetically held, but they're held very well. Very strong magnets on this one. We've done a good job there. Set those aside, take it back out, and give it a few more minutes uh, as a clean airframe. Now my timer is set to about four and a half minutes. I'm still exploring that flight uh, that time, uh, flight time, and uh, by the end of this video, I'll be able to give you a very good idea of just how long it can fly. Now tightening out, you can see the flaps there on the windows up. Now I'm rushing through this a little bit only because I want to have all the sun. So let's take it out. Now it'll be interesting to see if it's a quicker takeoff without the drag of those tip tanks. All right, so here we go. On this takeoff, I am going to go mid flat. The grass is quite long and spongy, so there's a lot of resistance there. Uh, I'm sure the grass wouldn't be a problem, but this is mid flat takeoff with the drop tanks off. There we go, climbs up, gets on step, gear goes up, flaps come up, bring it round. I'm at half power now again, and let's do a few clean passes. Full power, here we go. Taking it up, I'm gonna roll it round. Look at that climb, look at it. I'm at full power still, bringing it around. Here we go, nice fast pass. Oh! Now you can hear my beeper, that's my timer rather. That means it is time to land. I'm just gonna drag it out and do, see what we got here. No, I'm not gonna risk it. All right, at this point guys, I'm gonna land and uh, then we'll get another pack on there and we'll explore it further. I wanna do some slow uh, passes on the next flight and uh, do some aerobatics as well. I got a little bit of height, so I'm gonna bring it around. Look how nicely it turns. That's with the gear down and mid flap. Really, really nice and stable. Right, I've lost some height there, which is good. Tom, I hope this is okay for you on camera. Yes. If not, guys, we're going to cut to the onboard. I'm at full flaps now. Let that speed bleed off. A bit more power, flare, flare. Lovely. Those scissor uh, springs on the uh, mains and the audios on the on the nose, really, really working well. All right. Let's put another pack in. All right, so we're here on the second flight now. Um, I took the tanks off on the uh, previous flight and now I just want to give you a bit more of a, a show of how it flies as a scow jet but also in that slow speed uh, manoeuvring as well because it handles very very well in slow speed. We had a little change up, we put the action cam that we borrowed from Tom here on the top. We think we were getting a little bit of grass on the underside there which is understandable. This is uh, quite a lot of grass to be dealing with. One thing I also wanted to show you because I didn't show you before is the flaps. Now they are nicely slowed as you can see, that's my mid flap position. And this is my full flat position and you saw just how well it uh, handled on approach and um, actually in flight it makes no difference at all which is exactly what you want sign of a very well engineered model so i will taxi it out there because i'm getting a bit out of breath from running backwards and forth so let's get out there and we'll do the next flight and then the final flight after that is just me really exploring it, showing what we can do, not just as a scale model, but as a sports model. As I said, it was, it's very much like an Avanti, but in a scale, uh, scale close, if you like. So let's take it out. Taxi in for takeoff. See, it handles very nicely on the grass, that trike doing everything it should be doing. Those odios working well and take it out a little further. I'll take off with mid flaps again. I think my CG is just a little forward of where I want it, despite the camera on the back there. All right, we're lined up. Look at those lights. They look really, really good. Hope you guys can see that. So I'm on mid flap, low rates on everything else. And again, let it just pick up speed and then just pull up when you feel it's got enough speed. Taking off. 
No, that's okay. Take it off. And let the speed build. And about now, there we go. Look, it hops up all on its own with mid flaps. That's a good recommendation for you. You go on a slightly uh, long, soft grass, mid flap takeoff will get you up in the air good and proper. All right, so that's mid throttle again. All right, let's show you the slow speed of it now. So I'm going to bring it back round and I'm going to go full flaps on this one. I'll bleed off a bit of height around the field here and I'm just over idle now. And look at that. Look at that. Flies like a trainer at that speed and that's actually a very true point. Um, you can actually consider this your first uh, EDF trainer, uh, scale trainer. You know, you've got the Avanti for a sports look, but if you want a scale introduction to EDF, this 80 mil size is perfect. It has all the benefits of a, of a bigger 90 mil model, but at the price tag of an 80, uh, you get all the presence of the 90, all the, uh, all the comfort in flight, all the speed, all the performance. Let's do a low fast pass here. And you'll pull up. There we go. Look at that climb. Beautiful. Keeps going and a roll down. And I'm going to come. This is power off now. So it's just on the glide. Oh, it's so smooth. So, so smooth. Power on now. So yeah, all the performance, everything you'd want in a 90 mil. Uh, but in the size and price range of an 80. We'll do another slow pass. This is with no flaps now. Really groovy. Let that airliner go past. I'll get some height. We'll do a try and do a scale loop in the middle. I'll bring it back around. Again, I'm backing off my throttle in the turns just to reserve the power for when I'm really close to myself and you really want to show both this model. So I'll bring it around again. So, so smooth. All low rates on this. I'm flying uh, FR Sky Radio, FR Sky 8 channel receiver. Let's go full power. And we'll give it a loop in the center here. Tom, you good to go? Yep. Looping up. Easing up on the elevator. Easing up. Oh, pulling around. Beautiful. Coming off the power at the top. Letting it come around. It's almost coming around naturally. With just a little bit of up elevator. Beautiful. All right, we'll do another pass. And then we'll come in for some rolls. Fast pass, left to right. A little bit of opposite rudder. Oh, it looks so good. Okay, let's check that roll rate. Now, first of all, I'm going to do my roll uh, on low. Full power. This is low rate. And beautiful. All right, let's bring it in crosswind uh, the opposite direction. And I'm going to go to mid rate now. I haven't rolled at mid rate, but let's see what it's like. Yep, quite a bit faster. I'm not even going to bother going to high rate. I'll leave you guys to explore that. But suffice to say, she rolls very nicely. Let's bring it around again. I'm going to come around this way. I'm going to do another slow pass. We'll do a dirty pass with the gear down this time. So I am full flaps. I hope that's coming out all right for you guys. There's the landing lights. You should just be able to see them. Full flaps. A little bit of speed on there. Look at that. Look at that. Gear goes up. Flat goes up. And away she goes. There we go. Takes a little bit of a moment to get back on step there from the climb out but she handles it very very well have a roll for you guys lovely and that's just pure uh, rolling with the aider on I didn't really need any any uh, rudder in that at all so we'll do another slow pass this time let the speed bleed off a bit I'm gonna s it around now I'm just above idle Look at that. Look, 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 look. And you can fly in a small space like that. Look, I'm going to turn really tight. This is full flaps. It's almost flying like a park flyer at this point. No real hint of a stall. Look at that. Now that's my timer at four and a half minutes. All right, so I've got her out there at the end of the runway for our third and final flight. What I want to do now is just uh, explore the aerobatics uh, potential of this. As we said, it's very much a, an Avanti in a scale clothing. Uh, I'm not the best aerobatic pilot for sure, but I'm going to do as best as I can. And I know you guys can probably do better as well. But uh, truth be told, it is a very versatile model. So let's give it a go. Maybe we throw in some knife edges if it will handle it, and I'm sure it will. Do some rolls and some 
other aerobatics. All right, taking off. Uh, I'm on mid flat now for takeoff. Uh, gonna flick into a higher rate for these ones so let me just get comfortable and into wind cruising by on half hour there oh well she does a bit of coupling but she does it very well free round to do another one that's the first time I've knife edged this I've got to be honest so uh, with a little bit more practice on my part We'll really be able to pull those off. Do another one of those. I think I was a little too touchy on the rudder there. FYI, I am on mid uh, uh, setting for the rudder at that point. So straight round, roll it over, keep the rudder in. Look at that! Ugh. Beautiful! Really nice. All right, that's great. Let's take it up and do a, uh, a snap then, I guess. Alpha was saying he wanted me to take it up high and just snap it over so let's see what it does maybe I'll spin out the bottom of it apologize for the Sun there guys will probably cut to the onboard at this point all right so I'm gonna take it up and just let it snap and now we're rolling out of that oh nice recovery too all right I'm gonna try an inverted pass for now Another fast pass for you. Yeah, rock, rock it on. See? Now that's inverted now. I'm in low rates. It doesn't need much elevator, which is a good sign. So we bring it in. Full power. Very nice. We'll keep it inverted. We'll come around again downwind. See if we can get a little lower. Now this is downwind, so I need a bit more elevator. Full power. Oh, lovely. All right, going up, going up, going up, up, up. All right, let's try and... Oh, okay, ignore that, cut that bit out, James. All right, sorry about that, Tom. I'm gonna bring it round here, just out the sun. Now that's quite high for you guys on the ground, but we'll cut to the onboard. Now again, I'm not the best pilot. Oh, there you go, it's a bit of a spin. Not really sure what it's doing there. That's purely the fault of the pilot. Nothing to do with the model, like I said. I'm only an average pilot. So, I mean, what else can be said about the, the Freewing L39? It's a beautiful model, great presence in the air. In this uh, aerobatic scheme, really stands out passes in here whilst I'm talking. It's, uh, like I said, it's a 90mm model in a 80mm uh, package. Nice slow pass for you there. Good flight times. I'm already coming up to four minutes and it's still going. I'll do another low fast pass for you guys here. Very, very benign, super, super stable. And it just looks so good in that aerobatic scheme. Fast pass down the strip. And look at that pull out, look at it going keeps going beautiful performance on even this the stand itself now, now I'm gonna bring it into land gear comes down time is going I think I've probably still got a little more in the pack I'm quite high here so I'm gonna push the nose down bleed off some of the speed out over the field now I'll give it a bit of power it handles so so nicely all right now I'm in on my approach full flaps flaring 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 oh almost like it there there we go All right, ladies and gentlemen, very, very pleased and very honored to bring you the brand new model from Freewing in Motion RC. Uh, now, I should just say on closing, this one that you see here is a pre-production model. And I can prove that it's pre-production because it's one of a kind. We don't get everything right first time. It's Albatro on this one, not Albatross. You guys, of course, will get an Albatross. Beautiful, beautiful European bird. We're really, really excited. I love it. I've always liked the Avanti. This is a Scal Avanti, if you like 
we are very very proud of it and we know you guys are going to enjoy it and with that in mind make sure you share with us uh, all of your custom color schemes all your fan flights everything else full information about how you can post to us underneath this video or, or on one of our other channels please subscribe please like if you like and I will see you guys next time